Hello. I'm going to play, uh, well, I am playing, as the screen says, the Stanley Parable. Um, in fact, I'm going to be playing a mod. Yes, some people have made mods from the Stanley Parable. Someone took all of the assets uh, from the game The Stanley Parable and he made his own map out of it. Um, uh, and I'll put a, a download link to um, the map in the description. But we have to open our command prompt and type in map Raphael. The mod is called the Raphael Parable. Uh, it of course, that, of course, being a reference to um, the trailer narrated by Kevin Brighting as the narrator, as always. Um, supposedly reading out um, some hate mail sent in by someone named Raphael. So, yeah. I can't wait to tell this story to my co workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? So, this is just a very large office building, uh, which still has the very strange geometry uh, as the office in the Stanley Parable, um, with a whole bunch of secrets just hidden around, secrets and easter eggs. Some of the secrets you can just um, reach uh, by some exploration and you'll hear a did in sound as we just heard uh, twice already. Some other secrets uh, will require you to open the uh, command prompt, so the console, and then type in some code and then get the secret. They will not make the da out, but I'm just going to explore the office. I, I have explored it before, but I'm just going to show you all of the secrets I have been able to find. And I'm probably going to have to cut this up into uh, several uh, videos, but that's okay. So first thing, uh, this closet, um, there's just a back wall, but after we move that painting, the back wall opens up. We fall down ooh, into a very, very strange room. We open the door, and even though we fell down there, we emerged here. Yes, this game will also feature some of the very, as I mentioned, some of the very strange geometry and topology of the first game, uh, of, of the original game, I mean, and I will um, point to instances of that occurring uh, when they occur. So this door opened, that, that is also in the main game, and we have a waiting input. Also this mug says coffee nut, which sounds disgusting, but I'm not going to go into that any further. So we continue. Already this is different. There is no, I guess there are two doors over here, but there's no choice between two doors. We just enter this strange room over here, sublime. the lounge, oh, well, apparently. Large. What was it about mm -hmm. this room? And we can it climb up so here. Deeply and so and you see these black screens? Me. It's great. Ducks. It's also, so this charming. is a very nice magazine. No. Shapes. <laughs> Stanley knew I'd actually quite like a magazine deeper. like that. That sounds great. Something darker. darker. Hmm. Um, so there's one more thing we can do over here. No, wait. Where are you going? Yeah, it kind of panics, and when I drop down, I fall down, oh. but end up uh, on the same floor yes, again. Truly of course. <laughs> but yeah, that's it something I'm glad the they added. And you cannot um, spend a few climb down here, in this um, here and fall down as you would normally do in um, one of the more here, rare endings in the Stanley Parable. Oh, I really hope my, <laughs> my voice is um, intelligible over the narrator speaking because it's all being recorded into one channel. So <laughs> I really hope you can hear me <laughs> whenever the narrator is talking. Uh, let's see. Anything interesting? No, nothing interesting. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone yes, would yes. be. Stanley um, just needed oh, yeah. to get have to the meeting this. room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. So we have a very, very, very tall stairwell, which is also very deep. Uh, and we started on the ninth floor, so let's just go down to the eighth floor, and uh, we get back over here. <laughs> that's uh, that's all the rest of this room. You can keep uh, climbing. If we climb back up again, uh, we will not end up uh, on the ninth floor, but again on the seventh floor. Well, again um, on the seventh floor in the first place. Uh, that's all you can do there. Still fun that they added that. But now I'm going to go in here. Um, and here we have a nightmare. Oh, just imagine. Imagine your office being somewhere in here. And you're always having to navigate a maze to get to your uh, to your well, cubicle. I mean, you can just look around and see everybody working around you. Where you're sitting over here, you're constantly looking at this guy. Seems like a nightmare to work here. But yeah, there are some computers to give input to. Uh, yes, this one as well. 
nothing interesting here, is there? No. Files. They also added a whole bunch of custom <laughs> files like the extortion magazine. If you had purchased more advertising space, we wouldn't have compared your product to year old spit. Uh, love the joke. Um, Just a step through this door, Stanley. There are no doors around, sir. That's all I need. Okay. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. That's, I already did that one. Yep, I did. Um, I'm quite glad that, uh, well, <laughs> it would be a nightmare to work here, but to make my way through the maze, it's. Um, relatively simple because I can just look over the walls. This is an oddly shaped desk. Like, you would just stab your elbows while trying to type, wouldn't you? Um, let's see, anything else over here? I think I already activated that one, yes. This is a very mangled chair. <laughs> like, rightfully so, if this is your cubicle, but still. Okay, let's leave again. Escape wrong direction. The hitboxes on these uh, edge connectors are larger than the apparent object themselves, so it's very easy to get uh, stuck on those. But yeah, um, just a reminder, we came from there, and our office is somewhere that way, but now we move uh, this way, so away from that general direction. We open this door. Right. But look, we're oh, back yeah. here again. <laughs> and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. How wonderful. Were they simply Stanley was alone. Kevin Brighton, you're interrupting Finally. yourself. That's weird. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Nice uh, Undertale reference for you there. And uh, not Undertale, uh, Homestuck. That's Homestuck. Um, so yeah, <laughs> as you can see, the topology of this um, office is very interesting. Like, it's probably a bit of math talk here, but it's probably like an, a very complexly curved manifold. Uh, but I promise that's all the mathematics I'm going to drop on you. Here we have another red door, quite like this one. Geo, please hide this secret better in version 2. Or version 1.2, I suppose. So we get uh, to the warehouse, and as we are used to, these papers from. Um, Papers, please, are still here. So that's quite nice that they left them there because this is just built from all of the assets. They didn't have to do that. So, yeah, quite nice that the person who made this did that. There's another computer, but we cannot get here just yet. And we cannot move there either. And this is actually a very long stretch of what the office looks like or should look like, right? Because normally you would take the lift, you would jump under this catwalk and then move over there and you have the red and the blue door. But no, there's none of that right now. Uh, there's none of that right now. No, <laughs> I mean, that's still the same. But now things get different and strange. Because right there is section B4, right there is section A2. We walk through this door and we <laughs> reappear here, even though we went through a door here and only went like two steps, went up like two steps, so that's that. <laughs> um, urgent employees should never, under any circumstances, attempt to... Well, I'll try not to do that then. Um, mm -hmm. It's been a while since we found any secrets, haven't it? Well, I guess I'll just uh, walk through here. And here we have code as symbol, which counts as a secret, so that's another one in the pocket. And there is another computer here. Uh, about a Someone week ago, was following right? Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. I whoa, <laughs> speaking is difficult. I showed this uh, game, this mod, to a friend of mine uh, on Skype. Sadly, we cannot stay here. Um, and something weird happened that hasn't happened yet. But the sprite of WD, WD Gaster from Undertale appeared over there and was just staring. It was really, really quite odd. Um, I don't know what triggered it or if it's just random, but it hasn't happened to me since. So you're going to have to take my word for it. But yeah, we get on the lift and it just drops down because there are no ropes connected, uh, wires. And as far as I know, that's all we can do in this section. There is that additional catwalk and you can see that it's not quite loaded there. Um, 
but yeah, we have to reach that place um, through other means. We cannot reach it uh, from here without cheating, I mean. Nope, no WD Gaster. So let's just backtrack for a bit. This door is going to be very rude. See? Um, yeah, we go up here again. Zoom! Oh yeah, this catwalk um, down there with the hexadecimal numbers, letters I guess, um, that just goes into the wall. Remember that because we will return later on. I don't know if that's going to be in this episode because I think. Um, okay, so Stanley this is. had never seen the office this brightly lit. You're lying. It a sign of I something? came this way. It he was this brightly was. lit. He hoped very much that it was. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. This is all one self-contained uh, map. Uh, there are no save points, uh, and as is the case with anything in the Stanley Parable, and there's nothing over here. So I'm going to have to play all of this in one go, and then cut up the footage into bits. I think that would be the best way to go, and to then upload it as several different videos. Um, yeah, the executive bathroom is here. Nothing too special this time, um, except this strange magazine. Of, or I. One inch is 700 miles. Yeah, I really, really doubt that. <laughs> Those are some very... B oh my god. Is the joke, is the pun really that these are some very massive knockers? Holy crap. Anyway, <laughs> another Game Bro magazine. A nice painting. Um, so this game is great to just explore. You know, the Stanley... Oh yeah, someone commenting on the very strange geometry. Room 415. I don't understand. Uh, I quite like explorative games. Uh, I also really liked uh, Yumeniki. Um, so this game, with all of its um, explorability, or this mod, I guess, is also very fun. But yeah, in case of emergency, do not break glass, remain calm and wait for a certified glass technician. We are in fact going to break this glass with a bottle of Chianti, and I'll show you how we're going to do that in just a bit.